Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise, myself Jason, today bringing you whiskey review into the Talisker 57 North. Now, this is an expression I've been waiting to review here on the channel, and it's just something that we're in the Talisker line at the minute. We've got the 57 North, and then we'll follow it up with the 25 and the 30, and we'll come to our conclusion on the Talisker range. So if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button, which I think is down there. And check out the Talisker also, the range which I've been reviewing, which I'll leave in the top corner. I'm gonna start myself by pouring the 57 North. And I actually picked this set up over here from, I think one of the shops in central London. It was around about 40 pounds, somewhere between 30 and 40. So this is one that I was very excited to get my hands on. As I tried it once before when I was flying through an airport, and it just captivated my attention. So, the 57 North, some of you will be on wanting to know why is it called 57 North? It's actually named after the latitude in which the Isle of Skye and the Talisker Distillery is located at 57 degrees north. So that's why it's called 57 North. Now in terms of age-wise, it is a no age statement, and in terms of also ABV, it is the first Talisker from this range which is bottled above 45.8%. So it is 57% alcohol, named also, and uh, rightly so, with the latitude. Now, also, if you are wondering, if you're new to my channel, who is this banana or monkey? It's actually Mr. Bananas. He is my mascot, trusted psychic, and whiskey enthusiast. Uh, he's on a water diet because he is relaxing until um, the next two videos. So he actually suffered really badly. If you watch the beginning of the series, you'll see the whole story unravel behind Mr. Bananas. Now, in terms of the overall cast selection, they don't specify anywhere, but I can imagine it mainly just being all American oak. And in terms of actual, the distillery itself is the Talisker Distillery. Now, they are actually owned by the parent company Diageo, who actually own a lot of distilleries, and they are located in the Isle of Skye in Scotland. So it's actually known as a risky region called the Islands of Scotland. Now the overall price, now that's just a miniature bottle, that's a 20 CL. The big full size bottle of that is around about 68 pounds at this point in time in the market. And that is, I'll get to the price and the conclusion. So 68 for a 70, uh, 70 CL and in travel retail, they had the liter for 72 pounds. So really good value for money if you're looking at the 70 to one liter conversion. Now in terms of overall exclusivity, it's not exclusive. It's available in travel, retail, and the domestic market, and it's not limited. And in terms of caramel coloring, I personally feel there's none added to this whiskey. So what we're looking at right here is a nice sort of bright gold, almost a slight, I wouldn't even say amber. If I'd say an amber, it would be a clean amber. It's quite a nice sunburst character. Let's just go with a color on that one. So anyway, let's begin by assessing the nose, into the nose. So to start out on the nose of the 57 North, this one starts out quite nice, well, and rounded. Character sort of salted butter, a lemon drizzle slice. I'm getting, I'm getting some very interesting characters in this one. Now I'm also gonna compare the 57 North to the Nice Point, which I just reviewed in the last video, and the Talisker 18. That way we get a better understanding as all three are priced around about between 70 to 110 pounds. So it gives you that better estimation because these are all within the same category. Thought it'd be good to give an overall conclusion at the end of the video on each one's prices. But getting back to my overall uh, nosing notes, salted butter, lemon drizzle slice. It's almost like a smoky character, but this smoky character is like a matchstick that's been just blown out and you're just smelling that fresh fume going off the air. There's a slight little bit of a gentle peppery spice, but it's not so powerful. I mean, you're getting a bit of what reminds me of toasted bread, but just golden toasted bread. And there's a little bit on the end, which to me just, I, I instantly think of a creme, vanilla creme brulee, but just slightly, you know, when you get the, the flame and you char the top, a little extra char just to add a little bit more character. But that's got a little bit of sweetness right on the end. Let's get into the palette next, Slanger. So to begin on the palette for the 57 North, this one starts out powerful. And I say, when you take a first sip, take a very small one, roll it around, let your palate adapt to the 57% alcohol, and then now go in for your second sip. It's like, boof, I just got sucker punched in the face, and I'm getting all these spices, that red hot chili pepper sort of 
black pepper spice following behind it. There's chili flakes in there. A little bit of candy ginger adding to the warmth of the palate. The texture on this one is full, it's chewy, it's waxy, it's mouth coating. It's like candle wax. It's like, if, say for example, you just blew out a candle and instead of just blowing it out, you decide to take, you know, a, a complete bite out the side of the candle. That's what it feels like. It feels like you can actually chew on this whiskey, which is absolutely insane. It's got a further sort of character, sort of a little bit of salty, sort of like a salted pretzel coming back in. I'm getting black olives, a little bit more richer than the standard green olives I found in some of the other expressions, but it keeps going and then it has a little sweetie moment where it becomes softer, almost like, like a very rich, viscous, syrupy honey that just sort of develops a little bit more further. And it's kind of got like a smoke infused honey. So maybe a dark, rich, syrupy honey on the middle of the palate. Blimey, this is a really intense, but such a fun whiskey. Let's get into the, into the finish and then I'll come to my conclusions on the 57 North. So into the finish now for the Talisker 57 North. The flavors on the finish are long. They're long lasting, they're pungent. A combination of that salty sort of character, which I'm getting through, but this is like capers. I've mentioned that I think in the 18, it's like you've got those tin capers and you've opened them up and you put a handful of those in your mouth and you just got that slight salty, bittery character, but it's not so horrible. It's got a complement of that with a little bit of that peppery spice, a little bit of even spiced oak. And then you get a little vegetal sort of character coming through, like dill, a herby character, not vegetal, herby character. It's sort of followed up now by a little bit of smoke. And this smoke is quite well rounded. It's like a, like a campfire smoke with a few pieces of wooden logs thrown in the mix and it's just become a little bit woody, but still carrying on all these flavors, the sides of the palate, the back of the palate, it just keeps going. Wow. So I wanna finish this, but I need to give it a rating and give you my overall opinion. I am heading back to this side of my table and I'm giving it a 93 out of 100. Talisker 57 North. I don't know what else I can say about it. In terms of flavors, all I can describe that as is a boom of flavors. It's, an, it's a flavor explosion of that classic style of Talisker you love, that peppery, peaty, quite salty character. All of this coming together and just enhanced further. The value for money at 60, 68 to around about 73 pounds. For me, I'm, when I'm comparing this to now to these two, the Nice Point and the 18, Nice Point doesn't really hold up. The 18, it's like that, but on steroids, dare I say it. It is just so insane. And I can imagine, I, don't, I can't imagine what the actually age of this whiskey is, but I can imagine it being much older than at least 15 years old. It is really rich, maybe 10, maybe 10. I don't know, it's gonna be something I'm gonna go try to research, but for me, these two, the 18 and the 57 North, are just incredible whiskeys. The Nice Point doesn't hold up, but the flavors on the 57 North, if you like a cast strength whiskey, the higher ABV, just all these sort of characters of salty sort of pretzels, a little bit of olives, and all these different characters coming together in a glass, the 57 North is something I highly recommend. It's just, I need to go get another big bottle of this, because I've gone through three bottles of this already, and it's becoming one of those ones that I just have to ration this one until I've done the review and then I can pour myself a bigger measure. So let me know your thoughts. If any of you have tried the 57 North, I highly recommend you give it a go. If you do like a Talisker's and you want something cast strength and much stronger, this is some amazing liquid. It's just so rich and silky and waxy. It's just, oh, it's good stuff. So I'm gonna leave it at that because I'll probably ramble on for too long and really just go away from the topic. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you have enjoyed, drop it a thumbs up. Also be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel to stay up to date with all the latest videos and reviews as we are doing daily uploads. So this whole upcoming week will be very busy and uh, Mr. Bananas is gonna be back on the drink from the next episode. So looking forward to doing some more reviews with him. But on that note, I'm gonna leave the video that. If you have enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, hit the other videos on the screen. And it's been Jason Whiskey Wise, Mr. Bananas, and we'll catch you for the next video. Slager.